Steel vs. Iron Who would win in a matchup between two of DC and Marvel Comics' most iconic warriors? Can brains and technology outfight one of the most powerful superheroes in the universe? First up, what's each side bring into the fight? Iron Man is a genius engineer, not the smartest man on Earth but easily one of the smartest. This is without a doubt his greatest advantage over Superman. Clark Kent is pretty clever himself, but Tony Stark is a few leagues ahead of Kent. Iron Man's genius helps him develop some of the most advanced technology humanity has ever seen, including his iconic powered suits. What exactly Iron Man's suit is made out of depends on the design, and whether you get your Iron Man canon from the movies or from the comics. His original suit was made, obviously enough, of iron, but iron proved to not be good enough to stand up against Marvel's bevy of evildoers and villains. Since then, he's made suits out of titanium alloy, titanium and gold alloy, nanobots coated in vibranium, and he's even incorporated vibranium directly into the more normal forms of his armor. However, one of the most powerful armors ever created was made out of Uru. Uru is a special Asgardian metal, which is nearly indestructible and used to create the Asgardian Destroyer and Thor's hammer both. When the Earth was ravaged by the Asgardian god of fear and his minions, Iron Man called out to Odin for help defending the Earth. In return, Odin allowed Iron Man to use Uru metal to fashion weapons for eight of Earth's heroes. For himself, Iron Man simply flew into the molten metal and covered himself completely in it, emerging in armor completely coated in Uru. Odin then enchanted the armor directly, empowering it further. So just how good was Iron Man's Uru armor? Sadly, we'll never know because he was never actually shown fighting in it. However, given that it was designed to fight living gods, it's a good bet that Uru armor would be a match for Superman. In the offensive department, Iron Man features a number of weapons, though some of his most iconic include micro-missiles, acid ice which can freeze and dissolve foes at the molecular level simultaneously, a legion of automated combat bots with abilities matching some of the mid-tier Iron Man suits, and probably the most famous of all, his repulsor blasts. These blasts are fired from the palms of his hands and powered by the miniature arc reactor that's at the heart and core of each of his suits. These repulsors are powerful enough to blast through solid concrete, and were sort of an accidental weapon. Originally, they were supposed to help Iron Man keep stable in flight. Iron Man's Unibeam is amongst his most powerful attacks, and one that he can only use sparingly as each blast saps a significant amount of his suit's power. To compensate, Iron Man has built energy-generating devices into his suits that can tap into ambient power sources and even use kinetic energy to partially recharge the suit. When backed into a corner, Iron Man's Unibeam, however, can be overwhelming for any opponent. Other than the various gadgets, Iron Man's armor grants him super strength and a degree of super speed. Plus, it's capable of absorbing tremendous amounts of punishment. How does old Soup stack up to Iron Man? There's probably no hero who has undergone more evolutions than Superman. Originally, he was as fast as a speeding bullet, as strong as a locomotive, and couldn't even fly. He'd simply leap over buildings to get to his destination using his super strength. However, as Superman grew up on Earth under the light of its yellow sun, the sun's radiation helped fuel his powers, and today the Man of Steel is one of the most powerful beings alive. It might be easier to list what Superman can't do. He's almost completely physically invulnerable, with his invulnerability only increasing with age as he absorbs more and more of the sun's radiation. In fact, the longer he lives on Earth, the more powerful he becomes, meaning that the only theoretical limit to Superman's strength is ultimately how long he keeps living on Earth. His super strength is almost unmeasurable. He once held a black hole in his hands, resisting the most powerful force known to physics. Another time, he bench pressed the weight of the entire Earth, around 6 sextillion metric tons, for five days straight. He's even initiated fusion to create new suns by smashing entire moons together. But Superman's strength isn't just in his muscles, though it's little understood even by himself. Superman has somehow developed the ability to project an energy field that affects whatever he's holding, remarking that objects he lifts somehow feel lighter to him than they should. All that super strength means he's super fast as well. His reaction time is about one at a second or one quintillionth of a second. He's able to go at least 52 million times faster than the speed of light, having once made a trip of 25 light years in around 15 minutes. In races against the Flash, Superman has tied three times, though once both characters decided to tie on purpose to foil the plans of people placing bets on the race. The Flash still outraced Superman though. Wally West, for the fastest Flash, commented that he believed Superman could beat him if he really tried, and all without tapping into the speed force. Plus, there's the issue of Superman only increasing in power with more exposure to the sun. Clark Kent's maximum lifespan is believed to be limited by only his continuing exposure to our yellow sun which would give him a lifespan of about 5 billion years, until he simply finds a new sun to settle by. Theoretically, he could live on forever, or at least until the death of our universe, only getting stronger with age. So who would win in a matchup? Listen, we love Marvel, but we're not even gonna lie. 
All the odds are stacked against Iron Man here. Superman outclasses him in every single category except the ones that give him a fighting chance, intellect. As we've seen repeatedly over the years, Superman has actually been bested by foes smarter than him, and Iron Man's strategic cunning and genius intellect might be what wins this fight for him. Doctor Doom once defeated Superman by crushing up kryptonite and using it as a dust to coat the Man of Steel, suffusing it into his suit and sapping Superman's strength. Kryptonite is one of Superman's greatest weaknesses, and even just making Superman believe that something is kryptonite can actually sap the Man of Steel's powers. When Protex of the Hyper Clan psychically manipulated Superman into believing he was wielding kryptonite, Supes nearly bit the big one until the illusion was broken. In fact, other than kryptonite, Superman is actually weak against psychic attacks. Darkseid once brainwashed Superman into acting as one of his soldiers. Sadly for Iron Man, psychic power is not something that can be invented, and thus not something he'll be able to bring to the fight. Another one of Superman's weaknesses is magic. He's proven repeatedly that magicians and sorcerers can get the best of him. Combine magic with kryptonite and, well, there's a reason why the Justice League has more than one member. Magic again, though, is not something that can simply be invented, leaving Iron Man with only two real weapons against Superman, kryptonite and red sun radiation. Kryptonians gained no special power from the red sun that they lived under, with their superpowers enhanced by technology. Only when Superman came under the effect of our yellow sun was this biological reaction discovered. But should Superman be cast in the glow of a red sun again, his powers immediately begin to be nullified. While it takes time to completely drain Superman, the negative effect is immediate, and more than enough to drop Superman's powers down several notches in the span of a few seconds. Iron Man could stand a chance against Superman by simply tapping into red sun radiation, and that's something that's extremely easy to do with technology. In fact, Batman has done it several times, and Tony Stark is definitely smarter than Batman. As Iron Man has shown, his Unibeam can actually be used as a spotlight, and with some modifications, that spotlight can be colored with red sun radiation. Next, Iron Man can tap into Superman's other weaknesses that he can actually wield effectively, kryptonite. Psionics and magic might be out of his reach, but as a former arms dealer, getting his hands on kryptonite would be relatively easy. His suit's gloves could be outfitted with kryptonite gauntlets, allowing Iron Man's punches to bypass much of Superman's natural toughness. Missiles with kryptonite warheads would deal serious damage to the Man of Steel, though the real threat would come from them turning kryptonite into microscopic airborne particles around Superman. One inhalation and the kryptonite would now be inside Superman's lungs, quickly sapping any remaining strength. There's just one problem here. Superman is fast. Like, insanely fast. Remember his reaction time of one at a second? Well, it's actually fast enough to see photons moving, and the Flash has proven that Superman has the biological capability to process information fast enough to track him even when moving at his top speed. This is far in excess of human thinking speed, which is somewhere around the speed of sound. Superman's super brain can basically see Iron Man's red sun radiation unibeam and react to it fast enough that the photos won't even get a chance to strike him before it's out of his way. Chemical explosions are nowhere near light speed, so even if Iron Man surprised Superman with kryptonite-laced missiles, he'd easily outrun not just them but their explosions as well. Of course, there is the chance that Superman won't even recognize the danger. After all, he's had all kinds of missiles and bombs lobbed at him before. In that case, there's a chance kryptonite-laced explosives might actually catch him off guard. For all his powers, Superman is actually not capable of detecting the presence of kryptonite until it actually affects him and by that time his power level is greatly diminished. But Superman is no dummy, and going up against a genius scientist who engineered his own power armor, he's going to be prepared for the possibility that said genius scientist not only knows about kryptonite and red sun radiation, but has weaponized it already. In that case, Stark could take a cue out of Batman's book and simply create a constellation of satellites around the sun that turn our sun red, though the science behind that one is iffy at best. Plus, it would take decades of planning to pull that off, so we're going to disqualify that plan immediately. Stark's best bet is probably just to infuse his suit with kryptonite, and then force Superman into a boxing match rather than trying to blow him up with missiles or blast him with red sun radiation beams. We don't know what the circumstances of this fight are, and realistically the two would probably never fight, but in this scenario it's a death match, so fighting must happen. Superman has no choice but to take Iron Man out, and that means getting up close and personal with a kryptonite-laced power suit. Except, realistically, Superman really wouldn't have to do that at all. Not even the strongest of Iron Man suits are completely impenetrable, with the possible exception of his temporary Uru armor. With his incredible strength, Superman could simply hurl a rock at Iron Man and throw it with enough strength that the rock is traveling at a significant portion of the speed of light. The rock will disintegrate on collision with atmospheric particles, which would all be broken down into their most elementary particles. These would be traveling so fast that they would zip right through Iron Man's suit and his normal human body underneath. 
We know from real history what happens when human flesh gets in the way of elementary particles moving at extreme speeds. In 1978, Anatoly Petrovich Burgoski accidentally stuck his head in a particle accelerator for a brief moment. The protons passed straight through his head and destroyed the nerves where they passed, leaving the left half of his face paralyzed. Incredibly, he survived the ordeal but not without significant effect on his health. Iron Man will have a mass the size of a rock or a boulder broken down into elementary particles and hurled through his body. In effect, his body will be torn apart at the atomic level, likely causing a multitude of microscopic black holes both inside and outside of his body as particles collide with each other at near light speed. Nothing in the world could save Iron Man at that point, and death would basically be instantaneous. We're giving Superman the easy win here. Iron Man might be a genius, but even armed with kryptonite weapons and red sun radiation, Superman is simply too fast and too strong to be realistically survived. In fact, Superman's cannon powers are so strong that even DC's best attempts to challenge Superman are wildly unrealistic. You simply can't defeat a superhero who can move 52 million times faster than the speed of light. At that point, physics is your plaything, and merely hurling a rock at the speed of light will kill anything and we mean anything instantaneously, as well as destroy a significant portion of the surrounding countryside from the incredible release of energy. All of DC's attempts to beat Superman have relied on limiting Superman's powers or forcing him to be beaten because the story plot demands it. Completely unleashed, there's probably no force in the universe that can actually defeat the Man of Steel. No plan is clever enough to entrap a man who can react so fast he literally sees photons moving. Now check out what if Superman was a serial killer to find out how quick the Man of Steel could end all of human life. Or click this other video instead. I really wish they'd stop making terrible Venom movies.